morning. Today we are going to see parity generator and parity checker. Okay. Last class we have seen what is meant by a parity and what are the types. That means uh, even parity and odd parity. Okay. Today we are going to see how parity is generated. That means uh, we are going to design simple circuit for a parity generator and whether we are receiving the data na, that data is correct or not checking parity checking whether we are receiving the error free data or we are receiving a data with error now this is the data bit i told you this is the data bit 3 bit data bit okay now parity means even parity i told i am we are going to see even parity now even parity means what including the data including data plus parity including data and parity this is a modified data okay number of one should be even number of one should be even then it is called even parity okay now here zero means here you have to include zero here one means one that means number of one should be even okay therefore if in data only one is there if you put one then it is a even parity and here one is there you have to put one then including the data parity bit it should be even therefore two ones and here zero and here one here zero here including a zero and here one now this is the parity we have generated now how to design a simple circuit okay by seeing the table you can understand you can understand your p is that is parity p is nothing but a x or b x or c okay that is simply a xor gate because you can understand what is xor gate output if odd number of one is there it will generate one if even number of one is there it will generate zero okay that is the that is the xor gate output therefore this is nothing but xor gate therefore your parity generator is total three input and output therefore you have to put a output here okay xor gate okay therefore this is your output and you can go for a two input xor gate but multiple input xor gate is available but usually we follow two input xor gate okay now third bit third bit you can directly give okay because we are going to give three bit and it is our output it is a parity generator okay therefore this is the output and this is the a input and b input and c input okay that means we have given the data here and we are getting our parity bit now parity bit is generated that means for even parity this is the table for even parity therefore parity is generated and we are sending the modified data we are sending modified data that means data plus parity bit that means data bit is 3 parity bit is 1 and 4 bit we are sending 4 bit to receiver now receiver will receive 4 bit and it will check again parity whether it is even parity or odd parity and we are sending even parity if it is even parity then there is no error okay possibility is less okay and if it is odd parity then there is a error it will tell error free or with error now let us see how to do that also that means this is a parity generator now we are going to see parity checker that means we are receiving 4 bit therefore we have to go for a 4 bit table okay now 4 bit table already you know how to prepare okay now in the 4 bit what are the inputs in the 4 bit table p is your input and a b c are also your input okay in the generator p was the output now in checker this is the four input okay that means you have to go for 000 and 001 
0010011 and you can fill it because already you are familiar with these tables okay why 4 bit you got it now because 3 bit data plus 1 parity therefore in receiver you are receiving 4 bit therefore you have to go for a 0 to 15 table now this is the checking okay this is the parity bit this is the parity bit and this is the checking parity checking parity okay now how it will check it is a even parity check that means we have to prepare if it is zero then it will be even that means output this is the input now output we are checking if it is zero then it is even parity if it is one then it is even parity if it is one then it is a even parity if it is zero then it is a even parity okay and here also it should be zero just like you have to fill okay now how to design the circuit for this just you write a equation first p is nothing but a xor B XOR, C XOR, okay, that is 30 C, C is 30 C is XOR P, that means, see again you have to go for XOR gate only, okay, what is XOR gate, if number of ones are odd, if the number of ones are odd, it will generate 1, if number of ones are even, it will generate 0, therefore here number of 1 is 1, number of 1 is odd, therefore output 1, here also 1, here also even therefore you are getting zero just like here number of ohms are even you are getting zero okay you prepare this table and uh, this is the equation now circuit is simply XOR gate therefore you go for a XOR gate okay you go for a two input XOR gate okay now this is your C and uh, this is your P and this is your A B and C okay now you give this here yeah. now this is the parity checker okay that means it will check whether there is a error or error free but it cannot tell in which bit there is a error okay for that you have to go for a Hamming code in Hamming code you can find out the error in particular bit okay I have uploaded that Hamming code also. If you want to see, you can see that. And if you have any doubt, please put it in a comment. Thank you.